Hello friends, today we are going to see how we can understand feedback amplifier and its type in just 10 minutes. Let me tell you, we are going to see all basics concepts as well as advanced concepts that will be helpful to solve gate problems. Okay, so let's start with the video. So first thing what we should know is what is feedback. Feedback is a process of injecting some part of output to the input. Okay, so you can see in this connection, this is a feedback connection diagram. Here you can see this is a feedback factor. And from this terminal, we are taking some part of output voltage and we are giving to the input through this feedback factor. Okay, here the process which we use to get the output voltage is sampling and the process where we add the output voltage to the input is mixing. Okay, so basically here we are doing mixing and here we are doing sampling. Okay, we will see all types of mixing as well as all types of sampling also. Okay. Now we know what is the feedback connection, what is feedback, okay. Now let us see what are the types of feedback. There are two types of feedback, positive feedback as well as negative feedback. For positive feedback, we say it is a regenerative feedback and for negative feedback, we say it is a degenerative feedback because in positive feedback, the gain increases and in negative feedback, the gain decreases. We will see how it is getting done, okay. Now let us derive the closed loop gain from this connection. This is an open loop gain which is equals to VO by VI. Okay, this is what your open loop gain equation and this VF. This VF can be written as beta into VO. This is what I have written here. Okay, and this VS is basically VI plus VF. Okay, so this is what I have written here. Now, since we know VF is equals to beta VO, so we can replace in this equation. So VS will be VS equals to beta VO plus VI. Okay, so now we have this equation and we know for the closed loop gain. The formula is output upon input okay so this output upon this input for open loop gain it will be this output upon this input okay so we have vo by vs as a formula of closed loop gain and since both the output parameter and input parameter are in terms of voltage so this gain can be said as voltage gain okay so we can also say this is voltage gain which will be equals to vo upon vs we know vs is this so if we put here we will get vo upon beta vo plus vi and now if we take vi common here so we will get vo by vi 1 plus beta vo by vi since this term has not since this term doesn't have vi so we will divide by vi here okay so we will get a upon 1 plus a beta okay this a is a open loop gain this is what i have told you here vo by vi will be a 1 plus beta vo by vi this vo by vi again is a so we can write it as a upon 1 plus a beta so you can see this is our af basically closed loop gain there are two important factors that we should know is that is sensitivity and desensitivity formula of sensitivity factor is 1 upon 1 plus a beta and for desensitivity factor is 1 plus a beta simply this numerator okay now we will see the types of mixing as well as the types of sampling okay now let us see the types of mixing we know what mixing does okay we usually use mixing to mix the input as well as a feedback parameter okay uh, now let's see first type first type we are having voltage mixing and it is also called as series mixing because for voltage mixing we usually gives the output of this feedback factor in series with this input connection okay so you can see we are giving output of this feedback factor in series with this input connection okay so this is what our voltage mixing is and also you can see this is our input resistance right input resistance of open loop gain and this will be a complete input resistance basically for closed loop connection so here you can see since we are adding something in series so the input resistance is going to increase right in series the resistance increases in series the resistance adds up and in shunt the resistance decrease right since we know 1 plus 2 will be 3 while 1 parallel to basically 1 into 2 upon 1 plus 2 is going to be 2 by 3 so you can see it is getting decrease and here it is getting increase so whenever we are giving something in series then our resistance will increase and whenever we are giving something in shunt then resistance is going to decrease so here we can see in current mixing it is also called as shunt mixing because the output of this feedback factor we are giving in shunt okay so you can see here this is our input resistance and this is our complete input resistance so you can see here the input resistance is going to decrease right because we are adding a shunt here okay so here you can see the resistance is going to decrease now let's see the sampling sampling decides the output resistance 
and we know why sampling is required okay sampling is required to take the samples from the output okay first we have voltage sampling this is also called as shunt sampling because to take samples in terms of voltage we are going to add a shunt here okay so you can see the complete output resistance is going to decrease okay while in current sampling which is also called as series sampling because the current sample is taken by the output connection in a series way okay so you can see here we are taking the current sample in series okay so that's why you can see the output resistance is going to increase okay this will be very much helpful to solve the problems on this feedback topologies okay one thing you should note is that here in voltage mixing we are mixing in series while in voltage sampling we are taking samples in terms of shunt okay so you can see both are opposite to each other whatever thing is in mixing it will be opposite in sampling okay here it will be series here it will be shunt here it will be shunt here it will be series okay so take note of it okay now let's see classification of feedback topology we have four topology first one is voltage series topology voltage shunt current series current shunt okay before going to the connection we should know the format this term is written okay so you can see here we have a voltage series right voltage series okay so this this first term says about the output and this second term says about the input okay so whenever you get this type of format like voltage series current series current shunt then this first term says that in output we are having a voltage sampling and at input we are having a series mixing okay so first one let's see we have a voltage series okay basically we have a voltage sampling and a series mixing okay so you can see we are having a voltage sampling here and we have a series mixing here okay this is our open loop gain this is our feedback factor and you can see this output voltage is getting mixed in series okay and here the output voltage is taken okay so you can see for voltage sampling we have a shunt here and for voltage mixing we have a series here okay now let's see what will be the effect on input and output resistance okay so this is our input and output resistance for open loop gain basically for this block and for the complete blocks we have rif or rof which is also called as input resistance with feedback okay and it is also called as output resistance with feedback okay so since you can see here we have mixed in series so this input input resistance is going to increase okay so that's what you can see we have multiplied desensitivity factor with rif so the resistance is going to increase okay and here you can see since we have used the voltage sampling that's what we have done by connecting it to shunt okay so you can see the output resistance is going to decrease so you can see the output resistance with feedback is written as ro by d okay so this is going to decrease the output resistance okay so you should take note of it because this will be helpful to solve problem well in next video i will show you the trick to solve this also but it's better to know the concept now let's see the another name of this another name of this voltage series is series shunt voltage voltage and voltage amplifier okay so these are a different format this is different format okay in this format here we have a input and here we have a output while in this format here we are having output and here we were having input okay except this one all other uses this format only that that is first one will be input and another one will be output okay so this is what you can see in series shunt what is means is in input we are having a series mixing and at output we are having a shunt sampling okay so this is what series shunt means okay and the second one is saying we are having a voltage mixing and voltage sampling okay and third one is saying voltage amplifier why because here the av is vo by vi or you can also understand in this way like we have a voltage sampling at output and voltage mixing at input okay basically at output also we are having voltage and at input also we are having voltage okay so you can see this is what our voltage amplifier gain is right so that's why it is also called as voltage amplifier okay okay now let us see voltage shunt topology this is the second one this will say we have a voltage sampling at output and this will say we have a shunt mixing at input okay so you can see we have a shunt mixing here and we have voltage sampling here okay and the open loop gain here can be represented by ar or basically rm so let's see the effect of the resistance here so here you can see we have a shunt so input resistance is going to decrease here here we have shunt so output resistance is also going to decrease okay so rof will be ro by d okay wherever you are going to decrease you are going to divide by d sensitivity factor wherever the resistance is increased you are going to multiply it by 
desensitivity factor okay so now let's see the another name of this topology so this can be also said as shunt shunt right so this is what it is saying shunt mixing is also called as current mixing so that's what second name is current voltage okay current mixing voltage sampling current mixing voltage sampling okay and this is also called as trans resistance amplifier because we are having output voltage and input current okay this is what our rm says okay so you can see we are saying this as trans resistance because this is the resistance which is in terms of output voltage and input current if it was output voltage and output current so we will directly say it as output resistance but here we have output voltage and input current that's why it is saying that output voltage is getting transferred to the input okay so that's why it is saying trans resistance okay and this is what this equation says okay now let's see third one third one we have current series topology current it means we will have a series sampling and series mixing right series mixing and current sampling okay so this is what this format says okay and let's see the effect on resistance effect will be like here we have a series so resistance is going to increase so rif will be rid and here it will be rof will be equals to rod why because we have a series here okay and the open loop gain can be written as ag and gm basically transconductance okay so this is the notation of transconductance here okay another name of this topology will be series series why because we have a series mixing here and series sampling here okay also it can be said as voltage current why because we can say series mixing as voltage mixing and output as current sampling okay so this is what your input voltage mixing and output current sampling okay also it can be said as transconductance amplifier because we are having output current and input voltage okay so this is what the gain of this amplifier you can also refer it as we have a current sampling basically output current okay and at input we are having series mixing basically voltage mixing so in, at input we have a series voltage mixing okay so by this also you can refer it so you can see this will be transconductance amplifier gain so that's why this topology is also called as transconductance amplifier okay last one we have a current shunt topology current in the sense it means at output we will have a current sampling and shunt it means at the input we will have a shunt mixing okay so this is what you can see shunt mixing and current sampling okay this can also be written as series sampling okay one in the same only the name is different now let's see the effect on resistance so you can see here we have a shunt connection so input resistance is going to decrease here we have a series connection so output resistance is going to increase so that's what rof equals to rod rif is equals to ri by d okay and the open loop gain can be written as ai okay now let's see the another name of this topology this topology can be said as shunt series right so this is what this name is saying shunt series another name is current current why because this shunt can be said as current mixing right and our output we have a current sampling so current mixing current sampling so this is what this name is signifying okay current current topology and it is also called as current amplifier why because the gain of this amplifier will be ai is equals to io upon ii output current upon input current okay you can also verify it by the sampling and mixing so you can see we have a current sampling so this is what io is saying and here we have a current mixing this is what your I, I is saying okay output current upon input currents okay so that's why it is also called as current amplifier okay hope so you understand all this concept we are going to use this concept to solve the numericals based on this topic and we will see the trick in the next video okay so till then stay tuned